figured while I had the truck all torn apart, I would do another video going over the two stick transmission setup. I get a lot of questions since the first video that I put up there a couple years ago. I didn't do a very good job on that video. I was just doing what I could. I just shot the video in a few minutes with my phone taped against the back of the cab. But now that the truck is all torn apart, I can show you the two transmissions. And in this case, it is a six speed overdrive and a four speed overdrive auxiliary. Now you might have heard the term against the dash and in this setup, both sticks are against the dash in high gear. This results in high gear being a very fast ratio. So in this truck, I have five to nine rear ends, which sounds extremely slow, but I can do 80 miles an hour with that setup on tall rubber. Some of the questions I get asked are, does it have two clutches? No, you don't need two clutches. All the clutch is doing is isolating the engine power from the drivetrain. So it doesn't matter if you want to shift the rear box or the front box. They're separated by a four foot drive shaft. So the main transmission is on the bell housing of the engine. And then the four speed is about the middle of the bunk on a full size bunk. In my case, it's right at the back, right here. Back in the early day before air shift transmissions had high torque ratings, if you wanted to have big power like a V8 CAD or a KTA Cummins, they really push these two transmission setups to be able to handle that power. Plus it also gives you a lot of gears in the low end. So here we have the six speed box. In this case, it's paired with a V8 Detroit. Here we have the clutch linkage. And then that is the shifter linkage for the six speed. And it has this little plate on top in order to bring the stick back underneath the cab. And you'll notice the transmission is quite short. It's only about two feet long because there are no air boxes on the back of it. It is just a simple six speed transmission. Here we have the two linkages that run back to the four speed. Now this drive shaft is one of the reasons that makes a two stick a little bit harder to deal with if you don't know what you're doing. If you get both boxes in neutral, this drive shaft will pretty quickly lose momentum and you will no longer be able to match your gears. That is why shifting both boxes at the same time is a little bit of a skill to learn. You can shift them one at a time just fine, but if you're shifting both and you make a mistake, once this loses momentum, you completely lose any chance you have of speed matching any gears. These shafts just work in a push-pull. Center on the shaft is neutral, so if this one is engaged, the shifter simply slides it to neutral, goes over to this shaft, which will be in neutral because that's where it's always left, and then we'll pull it forwards or backwards to select a gear. That's pretty much the basics of it. Now I'm going to have a couple clips in here with the gears on an overlay so you can see which gears I'm shifting into and the progression of those shifts. I'll show some upshifting and downshifting, but it's quite simple. If anyone's ever driven a farm tractor that, that has like a four speed power shift in like an A, B, C, D range, it's kind of the same thing. If you think about the front box as ranges and the rear box as your four speed, it'll make a lot more sense. <laughs> 